look at all that amount of people over here who took play. This is crazy. Look at all those guys. Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, and today we are fighting the world boss in another dungeon. Like the powerful dude that is going to be taken out by 30 people or 40 or 50 or so. Will be fun. Let's go. So guys, let's talk about the bosses and how to get to them and what they are. You can see the boss areas with, well, actually the bosses on the map. And uh, there are two, three, four, five bosses available right now. The Behemoth over here. Then you get the Slime Queen, which is like, uh, yeah, really hot. Uh, my favorite boss so far, even though she's really hard to beat. Uh, Goblin Head, Flower, Gaius of the earth and we've got the more that over here like the end game boss so for the newer players so you want to go for this guy how do you get to this boss you move to the territory and you will have to go to the stage three of that territory like third area so go to the third area and you have to switch channel because the bosses are only on the first hard channel and on channel one depends um they spawn on different times, so uh, the boss over here and here spawns every 6 hours and you can defeat both of those. So um, they are both on separate timers and they spawn on different times. Look at that, that's the queen slime. Ah, nice. So yes, when you get to this area where the boss is, you gotta go to the right a little bit and you will see something like this. This is the area where the boss spawns. So what you can do, you can check this area if the boss isn't here, go to the channel, uh, another one, and see if it's there. It will be hard to kill the boss by yourself, so you will need some help, probably. So you will need a huge team, and I actually managed to fight the boss, so we'll go to that part right now. This video was made from several parts, so give a like, subscribe, and download the LP player to be more efficient in the game, and, and write something in the comments that will help me out. And I love the commands, guys, so yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, in another dungeon, we are fighting the boss right now. The first actual world boss territory of King Beast 3, the Ferocious Behemoth. And, uh, yeah, we are fighting for, like, maybe 5 to 10 minutes already. And it's very healthy. So, look at that. There are, like, I say 40 people. Okay, maybe 20 people here fighting him. And he is going down little by little. And... I would say the main thing about fighting the world boss in this game is number one, the most important, getting the strong tank who won't die because Stitch is taking it like a man here. <laughs> yeah, basically it doesn't take that much damage. Uh, can tank it, can survive, have enough damage to aggro him and have enough healing potions and health to don't die because if that boss will start going to other people, like they will start dying the advice i've got here if you get the aggro press return button don't run around press return button and come back that's the tip i can give you so far but then again i mean i'm a lobby player yet i'm like only 235 so yeah but take a look there are a lot of people here the game is a bit laggy right now let's take a look at the fps okay ld player can hold on close to 60 fps at this point but it is getting like crazier and crazier it's almost half of its health left and i think i will kind of skip to something interesting maybe i don't know because right now i just see more and more people coming over to fight the boss and that's everything and yeah that's why you need maximum damage in this game so you can take most damage to the boss and help the server and everything so it might be might be fun gotta be careful not to accidentally attack someone Shouldn't have been clicking anything, oh my god. Okay, tip how to do that. You go to the settings. You go to the scan, auto scan, off, whatever. And turn off everyone and leave the boss on. Okay, now you open this thing and you got the boss. That's how you do it, guys. I managed to give you a tip on this, guys. That's uh, really nice because otherwise, my god, it would be really hard to aim on him because like you misclick on someone and this is the hard server here like hard area where if you click somewhere you will attack someone and i don't want to get those guys angry by attacking them obviously because like who the hell am i to take them out right so there we go the last seconds of the boss he's going down 
Okay, maybe a bit more than few seconds. Because it's still alive. And I'm wondering what we will get for it. There we go. The boss is dead. Finally. So we can run around. The people are rampaging around. killing. Look at all that amount of people over here who took place. This is crazy. Look at all those guys. Oh my god. That's insane. And here is Nell. Here is Nell. Nell is our hero today because Nell actually took out... Well, was tanking the boss for the second half of the battle. Bye, Nell. So yeah, guys, that's, that's it. So guys, actually, I fought this boss second time after that video. Like, as I said, it's two-part video. And I've got the loot myself. I got lucky out of all people. I've got it. And we've got the Stormwind Central Army Steel Belt, which is actually really good. Take a look at this piece of... Uh, hardware right here it's it's a really good gear guys and uh the drop from the boss being rewarded to the person who did the last hit or it's random for everyone like when you fight the boss uh you will get the random chance of getting the gear we are not sure yet i tried to talk with other people here They're, they have no idea as well there was a crazy discussion here so yeah moreover right now in the season pass you got one of the missions to take out the boss in the weekly missions you need to take out 15 bosses in a week so take part in taking out 15 bosses and in the overall missions you need i think one yeah help defeat the boss one time so that will give you some extra points for your season pass so you can get more rewards over here and that's a nice thing and yeah i actually asked the guy who was tanking the boss how much defense he have he said he have like 90 defense and he was chugging points like no other so you would like to get ready to the boss fight by getting the good potions if you want to tank it if you're not tanking it just get the maximum damage to well help the guys to take him out faster because it takes like i don't know five minutes for us right now but every time we fight him it's getting faster because everyone gets stronger so guys that's what we know about the boss let me know if you have extra tips on the boss down below in the comments if you managed to fight other bosses and took them out and what was your group what was your power and obviously as you move through the game it will be easier and yeah I'm really curious about the loot. How do you get the loot from the boss? How it's been distributed? While you go into the comments, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and write whatever you want in the video comments that will help to promote the video. And if you need help to play it on the PC, like that will be really convenient because this game doesn't have only offline progression. You might want to download the LD player from the description as well. I'm using it. It's really convenient and nice. Game can be running 24-7 strong stuff and yeah you can also find my other youtube channels in the video description playlist with more guides on this game social media discord and other stuff and th thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stay and kosher out have a good one bye